Hello there YouTube people, welcome back, I bet you are beautiful tastic as a sunshine. So, I want to talk about the edit tool and a little bit about the keyframes because I wasn't too clear about it in the last tutorial and I'm not going to cover everything because there are so many tutorials about keyframes. So I want to show you how the automatic keyframe works. Okay, so I have this lady horn creature here, which is a paper tool with bones and last time before i animated anything i clicked here to set a manually keyframe and then i moved it let me undo this now actually you don't need to do it because open tunes will set up an automatic keyframe for you so even if i don't click here and i just manipulating the joints you will see a blue key with stripes that means it's an auto key Okay, I can move a few frames ahead. And it will set an automatic key. If you want to cancel the key, let's create another one and I'll show you. Let's say I don't want this because it's too twisted. I just click and click and it will cancel the current keyframe. These are the basics of the automatic keyframe. Now you know it. Now, let's talk about the edit tool, this one. The edit tool will let you manipulate the layer, the level you're in. Like, you can do this stuff. Change the position, rotation, scale, shear. And let me talk about center. Now the first thing you wanna do is to choose what level you want to manipulate. Cat head, this one. Now you don't have to select it from here, you can select it from here. It's the same, it will change here. Now, before we want to animate anything, I want you to select the center, which is this pivot thingy, and move it to the center you want. You can put it in here, but I want to put it here. Okay, now let's change to position and Make sure that we are on the first frame. And now, let me zoom out. And let's move by scrolling the layer. Let's move it here. Let's rotate. As you can see, it will rotate based on the pivot. Now this is our first frame and it will automatically keyframe everything we did. Okay, let's move to the next one. I think it was number five. Okay, let's see if it works. too fast and it's too ugly but it works so that was some kind of tip for you to mess with the keyframe automatically without need to click here every time meanwhile see you later alligator bye